Hey guys, welcome back to the underground. Hello, hope everyone's having a great day out there. Look at my, dang, I need to clip my nails. Uh, today, Winds and Leaves is upon us. Uh, it just came out. It is a brand new PSVR exclusive by Trebuchet, uh, makers of Prison Boss. And uh, I've already played this game through, uh, and the embargo's up, so I'm happy to report that I really enjoyed it. Uh, now, it did have some issues, uh, so we're going to be playing through to see if, it, if those issues still exist. Um, and if they're cleared up, then we're all good to go here. Uh, I can definitely recommend this game, especially to uh, Platinum Trophy Hunters. I think uh, those looking that like to hunt for Platinums will get a good kick out of this game. But awesome things to share. We're going to go ahead and start a new game under here and uh, have some fun. And uh, check out some gameplay for you guys. Uh, that's what, what the deal is here. I'm gonna be showing you. So the movement, I love actually uh, the movement in this game. I love the uh, what they did. I feel like they took a very simple concept and they really made some good VR implementation and some good uh, game mechanics and stuff. This is basically it, though. It is smooth locomotion. You're on stilts, <laughs> and to move. You hold the move button and you swing your arms up and down like this uh, across the river. Uh, and it's uh, it's pretty cool stuff, man. Really creative game and really relaxing overall. Um, some, some good moments here. Well, that's not very relaxing. So when you, uh, when you get into trouble, when you run out of energy and stuff and get into the dirt, it starts to like, like the roots start growing on you and stuff. So right now, there, I am using snap turning. Um, there is... Uh, there is a smooth turn option, but it's not a traditional smooth turn. Oh, come on. God. Um, so it's a little bit different in that regard. Uh, let's see here. Press X to rotate to the left. Um, but the good thing is I did reach out to them and they said that, you know, there is a traditional smooth option that they can, uh, add in pretty easily. Uh, they believe. So, okay. I gotta grab this thing real quick. Uh, excited to show off some gameplay for this one. Uh, use the T. Oh, okay. So this is one thing I really like is it lets you calibrate your uh, where you want to place this stuff. So where, like where you want to reach for it and whatnot. Let's confirm calibration here. Energy is low. Let's fill this up. This is a really cool thing here. I like the noise it makes. Let me see. What is up, LC2552Beats? How's it going, man? Good to see you guys. Hope you guys are having a great day. Let's do this. Welcome to Winds and Leaves. What up, Leia? What up, Genetic Blasphemy? Excited to show you guys some gameplay. Let me turn this down so I can hear you better. What up, Nike Alexandria? Yes, I do think this game is good. Now, we're going to... Now, and I do... You know what? They said that they were bumping up the resolution last night, and I think they, I, I think they did. Uh, oh snap! Oh snap! Go go go! Go 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 go! I think it's gonna intentionally kill me here. Actually, this is kind of what happens when you die. Yeah, it's a, it's a very interesting game. It's a very unique game. But like I said, uh, you know, I, I in the beginning. Um, they took a lot of uh it is a little bit blurry still actually it, it is a little bit um it looks better i can tell they bumped it up just a little bit but i can also still tell it's nothing uh i wouldn't say it's anything game breaking blurry though because like i am definitely a stickler about blur and aliasing and stuff and like it's kind of like at first you're like eh like i wish for the art like the art style is really nice uh, and I wish it would be like super crisp, but as you get going, as you get into the special effects, you don't, uh, you don't really have like too much issues with it. Uh, these are, this is important. This is your time mill. What is up, Mark Pringlesley, Dontello, Game Cat? So good to see you guys. This is your time mill. This is what's really cool, uh, about this game and the way this thing works. I mean, the way that it just rapidly changed the time. Uh, what up, serial killer? Uh, let's see here. Let's adjust this. I like. I really like the way they uh, lets you adjust this. 
more than few other recent titles. Uh, let's see here. What does that say? Yes, confirmed calibration. What's up, Delirium Drew? So good to see you guys. Thank you for joining in. We're gonna, we're placing. I think this is a brilliant mechanic of letting you have these boxes to do stuff. Yeah, a PS5 patch every single game. You know, everyone was doing polls yesterday about uh, what up, Mad Max. Uh, everyone was doing polls about what people play on the most. Uh, and uh, everyone said they most PSVR players are on PS5 these days, so I'm definitely going to be encouraging every single developer being like, look, your most hardcore dedicated base is uh, is on PS5. You need to P There's no reason for games to be like blurry these days or anything. Like at least on the PS5, um, you know, obviously I'd I'd want pro patches too, uh, PS4 Pro because there's still a lot of pro users that are more dedicated. What up, Flame Hack Game Cat? What up, Dre? Uh, yes, this is in fact a flora builder, but there's, like I said, there's uh, there's some other mechanics in it as well that make it pretty cool. Now, this was one of the first things that I thought was kind of weird, is the the grabbing detection. It has you be able to. It it has you like um, grab from like anywhere in the trees. I I wrote them about this too. And I know what happened here is that they did lots of play testing. I don't really like that though. Like I wish you just had. I wish you could just climb the limbs themselves instead of being able to like climb like here. Like that's one of my gripes. Um, but uh, uh, let's see. We got to find a piece of fruit here. It's gonna be around here. Right now, I've got snap turning on, guys. Uh, they said that they will implement it if enough people talk about it and they said that they could easily add it in um the good thing is is snap turning doesn't break the immersion because you're on stilt so it's like kind of weird anyways uh let's find some we gotta find some fruit here what up blue jew <laughs> let's find some we gotta find a piece of oh, we gotta find a seed here to plant uh let's see we might have to speed up time a little bit maybe we can make one fall uh let's see there might have been one there. What a beard. What up, everybody? So good to see you guys. Thank you. Here. This is what's cool is you can speed up time. Look, there's one right there. I see it. And I see him dropping. Let's get it. <laughs> exactly, Drew. Uh, yeah, they, they do have a smooth turning option in this. They didn't completely neglect it or anything. I just, I just don't really like their smooth turning that they added, uh, to be honest with you. What happened to those seats? There it is. Yes. Yeah. Yep. No, I hear you. Um, but this is one... Uh, trust me, guys. I am totally with you. This is one that I give a little bit of a pass to. I don't feel like the turning ruins anything here. But I do want... Obviously, smooth turning would be a lot better because sometimes with the snapping, you can end up in a weird orientation. Okay, here we go. So we've planted our first seed. Now we're going to speed up time and watch it grow. And this is where it gets kind of cool looking, kind of pretty in this game. He's like watching this. This mechanic is super cool. Um, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of this. This whole process. And like, of course, it start, this game starts out like the, the environments and stuff. It looks kind of bland. It looks a little basic, but it gets better. There is some nice variety in the environment um, there's also more gameplay mechanics that almost make this sort of a metroidvania in a way like it's it's got some uh it's got some really cool metroidvania uh features to it i think uh what's up dead ringer all right so let's go up here put this in our pouch uh we'll grab uh we'll, we'll keep moving so every time you plant a seed the grass like spreads and grows further and further um it is basically so that's one thing that's cool it is an open world game um but again it's kind of like a metroidvania where you can't go into some areas until you have uh until you have some uh sorry uh yeah anyways yeah i get it guys i, I trust me i know i've already told them about the smooth turning they said that they will add it uh, they said that they can add it pretty easily, so 
uh, yeah, I'm totally with you guys because snap turning is good for those who need it, but I, uh, I don't know, like, yeah, uh, we, us, it's ironic that the, the people that are more likely to play the game are the ones that sometimes get left out with that. I totally agree with you there. Um, you know, we've said it countless times. And like I said, they tried to do some kind of smooth turning option, but it's like really weird and, and I didn't like it at all. Um, but being on stilts, like on stilts, you kind of like have to like, you know, you wouldn't be able to really smoothly turn like you would in real life on stilts. So like to me, it doesn't really like break the game or anything. Um, not this one in particular. Uh, and there is, like I said, there's full locomotion. There's This game actually nails, that's one thing that's really impressive about it. This game really does nail a lot of the VR features that we typically like. Um, what up, Dennis Frazier? Niles Ryan, the game for you live. Yeah, I just... I just believe in options. I think, you know, I think VR is a little bit more complicated because there's so many different play styles, so many different people with different, like, that are sensitive to certain things. Look at this. Now, this is the cool thing, too. Check out behind us where we planted. And now look at, look how big this forest is growing. Uh, you know, I don't know what it looks like on the, on the flat screen, but uh, these trees are getting big. And that's one thing. And as you progress through the game and keep speeding up time, they just get like bigger and bigger yeah this is did you say this would be amazing with the moves is that what you said it i am using the moves just in case that's what you said uh it is move controller it's actually move support only so somebody was asking kind of about like the story and stuff there is kind of a story that's told on these rocks there's there's no um there's no like Sp specific like really character dialogue or anything but it's one of those like story through gameplay kind of things which i think is pretty cool and uh and there is an there is an alternate ending in this game which i thought was pretty cool i've beaten this game once uh i'm actually I i'm on my second playthrough this is this right now is technically my third playthrough um i have another save file that i'm i've got that i'm working on the platinum uh, like I said, if you're a Platinum Trophy Hunter, uh, it makes it a lot easier to recommend this game, for sure. Um, obviously, it's not going to be for everybody, but I will say, they did a good job of making, like I said, a, a simple concept into a very gamey design. <clears throat> oh, the first time it took me to beat it... Oh, it took me several hours. You know, it's a $30 game, which is kind of pricey, but... It is a long, like, it took me a long time to beat this game. Um, I would say, uh, I don't know, maybe anywhere from, like, like, you can probably beat the game within, if you know what you're doing the entire time, you can probably beat the game in, like, five to six, five to seven hours, something like that. Maybe less if you're, like, speeding through it, but uh, it typically, it took me several, several hours. I, I've probably got... A total of like 10 to 15 hours in this game so far and like I said if you want to get your full nice yeah this this whole mechanic here is super cool um, I, I'm definitely a fan of this how much it speeds up I do feel like even though it's still not like super crisp I, I do feel like they they touched up a little bit. What's up, Lilith? Yo, what's up, Bat Chicken? Thank you. <laughs> I'm distracting so many of you from getting sleep and working. What up, Johnny Moles? Oh, man, I am definitely a fan of this game. Um, I, I'd put this game in, uh, in like, somewhere, somewhere between, like, a 7 and an 8. Like middle middle range there, like high sevens. Um, at at lowest, like. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, yeah, then you'll definitely get your your some good time out of it if you only get 30 minutes at a time. Uh, Cause yeah, like I said, it is a pretty lengthy game. Sweet. Thanks, uh, Dimash. Dimash. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm only going to be playing up to getting the first ability. Um, because, uh, yeah, there is, there is like, you got to see the first ability at least. But anything beyond that, it starts to get a little spoilery. Kind of shows off too much of the game. But we're gonna we're gonna show off at least the the first ability with some, because that's where the variety starts to show. <clears throat> the goal is to. <clears throat> oh, I definitely will be making another list for dreams. Um, so there is a story. Yes, those are tornadoes in the distance. By the way. Yes, and you do go up to those. So um, I'll, I'll explain the story as we go along here. And like I said, there are some things broken down. If I were to, the simplest way to do it is wow. Looks amazing. you, uh, there's like, there's a, a windmill like way out there. There's a windmill like way out there. There's also like a central hub that we're working our way to. Um, oh shit, I need more seeds. Um, it, like I said, it, if you're a platinum trophy hunter, I don't think it's pricey. I think you'll get your full money's worth because the the trophies actually. Uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, we talked about that on our uh, on our gamescast last night. If you want to go check it out, um, PSVR without parole, go check us out there. And we have a discussion on the PS Home, on Dead Space, all sorts of stuff. Uh, but today we're celebrating Winds and Leaves Days. Yeah, see these like ra rafters or whatever they are, like I can't use them yet. Okay, I gotta find some seeds here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna, we're gonna use our time mill to speed up time. Now, they have an easy indication, but, uh, essentially you're restoring, you're restoring some, uh, these different windmills and different like artifact looking things and... And you're basically trying to stop a cataclysm. So, believe it or not, the stakes are actually pretty high in this game. Oh, here. There was one right here, and I missed it. Uh, there's you, You're basically trying to stop the end of the world. But, um, uh, the character, I have no idea what, what they're wearing. Um, you're definitely... I think you're like some kind of burb-looking thing. <laughs> some fat game cat will, will appreciate the character in this. Uh, let's see here. Is that one? Yes. Okay. We're stocking up here a little bit because we need to, we want to progress here. But yeah, if you do, and, and again, it's, you don't, this game doesn't like, like it tells you how to get through the game a good bit, but there's also some stuff it doesn't tell you about. <laughs> oh man. What up Decepticon? Good to see you, homie. Yeah, this... Yeah, that is, uh, that's, there's tornadoes that you see. I think there's also, there's, uh, really cool weather effects in this game. And that might be some other weather going on there. Um, certain sections, you have to grow the seeds under really harsh conditions. And, um, and, uh, yeah, it's, you, ha you we'll get there. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. This is where the game, you know, if you really take your time and, like, enjoy some of the view, which is which is one of the things I liked about this game was, like, the first time playing it, I kind of just plowed through the story and just got it as much, did it as fast as possible. Um, but then I came back, and uh, I came back and just kind of spent more time, let some of the weather effects uh, just, like, go and, and enjoy those and sit and just immerse myself in those weather effects. What up, War Garble? Loved Whiplash Level 3, dude. Um, <laughs> uh, well, I think uh, I think it could be healthy for you. Uh, so, real quick, War Garble, there's, there's two endings to this game. There's there's like an ending where you just beat it, and then there's a, there's a true ending where if you do everything uh, that is written on the stones and, and there's like a couple different things um, and there's a different style ending so that I really liked about it because I I was pretty impressed with it but I was a little let down by the ending and then I went to the trophy list and then I saw that there was an alternate ending and I was like oh that changes everything like it, it explained why the ending was kind of that I got originally was kind of simple 
Uh, this is... <laughs> Uh, but this game is very interactive, and it's actually one thing I really like about it, too, is it's very active. Like, like it's not a strenuous game, but to move, again, you have to, like, wave your arms up and down like this. Um, and, like, do I think it's worth the price? Um, it really depends on who you are. I mean, it depends on what you, like, Platinum Trophy Hunters... A hundred percent, yes. Um, this is a uh, seems like a really fun platinum to go for. It's not a huge. Uh, it's it's not too big or grindy to get. Uh, you also get the best experience out of the game, I think. Um, and by the time by later on, like you kind of like master the controls. Uh, if you're if you're concerned about like like content and stuff, like the amount of content, I think it is worth the price. Um, but you know, if you're if you're not sure if it's for you, maybe wait for a sale. But but it's a good game though. If that's it's it's definitely a game that I enjoyed very much. And like I said, this is my third technically my third time playing it right now. So like yeah, depending on the kind of gamer you are and stuff, I mean it's pretty easy for me to recommend. <laughs> Where the seats pre bag right from the tree. I mean, look at the, look how behind us is growing. I mean, it starts like this as you move forward, and as everything continues to grow, and you look back. Yeah, man, if it's it's relaxing, it does have a little bit of a darker side too. Yeah, it does have like a wind waker look. It is re it is a relaxing, chill kind of slow paced game in a way, um, but it does have some some other stuff too that is like little bit darker I really like how I really like the dark side that it has too um, like I said the, the world's about to basically explode so the while it's got this pretty element to it it's like well shit's kind of dark right now too <laughs> uh, but I think I think it's really I was very impressed with how they took um, just this like a flora builder I was like I don't know like if I'm gonna really like just walking around and planting seeds and stuff or I was concerned about I was concerned about the depth of the gameplay and stuff and and I was pleasantly surprised that it's like whoa these guys do know game design know how to add depth to the gameplay it's also very like interactive like I said you're constantly grabbing these tools and stuff from your side and, and using this stuff and you're you're climbing trees and and you're there's a lot of good VR stuff. It's not just like a bland. Like I mean, look, I'm like reaching out and grabbing the seeds, and then and then just to do the locomotion. I love the locomotion in this game, where like you you swing your arms up and down. Uh, it is it is very like interactive. I mean, look at all the stuff I'm grabbing in the process of just making my way here, and then in that process also get to kind of look around and enjoy the view some. So yeah, I dig it, man. I dig it. I was, I was really not sure what I was gonna think about this game, um, but I, I was definitely uh, pretty pleased about it. Now, there is one thing though. Sorry about that. Um, this game did have some really bad crashing. Um, they, they did. Uh, you sound pleasantly surprised. This, this game. Uh, did have some crashing, so we'll see if that occurs. Uh, but apparently they patched that uh, late last night. Um, they told me they were going to patch it. All right, so here's here's another part of the game. What up, Drunky? So here's another part of the game. See, all the story is told within this thing. It's got, like, I guess this is your creature. You're like this little bird-looking creature thing. I guess that explains the, the feather fingers. Oh, here we go. Now we've got a new tree new type of tree what changed my mind in this genetic blasphemy I think the uh, I think the game the gameplay the game design the kind of like variety and the story um, I, I came to appreciate a little bit more some of the environments and stuff like they mix up uh, some of the weather effects there's there's really some nice views and nice experiences in this game. Look at all these seeds. Let's go. Um, 
because I was definitely in the I don't know camp. Um, but it kind of reminds me of stuff like Separation, a uh, little little bit of Falcon Age, not not a whole lot, but. <laughs> yep, plant the trees. Well, like I said, there's other mechanics they introduced too that are pretty cool. What up, Kyle? Let's see, let's go ahead and grow this one. I'll show you how this works in a second. Ooh, sorry. I got some, like, dust in my throat or something. Okay. So, we're going to pick up more of these. Um, Review-wise... <clears throat> I think I'm around like a 7.5, but but when I say 7.5, <clears throat> I'd also like to add that I really enjoyed it. <clears throat> yeah, Brian should have a review as well for sure. I'm at like a 7.5, and that's and that's being like kind of cautious. <laughs> uh, drunky, no, you can't smoke any of the trees. I'm sorry. I know that's a possible deal breaker for you, but uh, but you can plant them and you can watch them grow into pretty forests. Um, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> let's see here. Ugh. So we're making our way. So you can see these structures. This is, like I said, this is one of the cool things. It just does a lot of the VR things that we really like, the VR things, quote, my here. attempt at quotation marks. Yeah. <laughs> um, would jetpacks bring your 7.5 to an 8? <clears throat> jetpacks would definitely bring my 7.5 to an 8. And like I said, that's a that's like a really that's like a really cautious kind of 7.5. Like that's a 7.5 is what I would say <clears throat> to other people or just in general, but to me I still really really enjoyed it. The issues I had with this game were very minor. Um I, I like I said I was very surprised by it overall. Oh, I can't wait to show off some of that stuff. It needs more skiing. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. Yeah, it's just the the mechanics and stuff are super cool. The special effects are really cool. <clears throat> it does look like I don't know. I really can't tell, but it does look like they touched it up just a little bit, where it looks a little smoother. That's a good question. I don't know why you walk around on stilts. Um, but I can say that at least it adds like something cool to it versus just like, just kind of like, I don't know, just regular locomotion. So this is the thing, guys. This is how this game kind of works too, which becomes more and more complex. And, and you have to like do, like this is where the depth kind of comes in. Well, the stilts, uh, yeah, you can, and you can actually adjust the stilts on the fly. I don't know if it lets me do it yet. Yeah, it doesn't let me do it yet, but I'll be here pretty soon. We're still in the beginning of the game. Um, <clears throat> it'll let you adjust the stilts, and if you go, like, really tall, you'll go really fast and really short. Um, you're, you're, you're replenishing the world with trees. You're also trying to restore this huge hub that's uh the, this huge windmill that's over here by restoring all these other different things out here um so you'll see like when i dig in the ground here it's got these symbols uh these three symbols you want to have you have to match stuff to be able to grow it um and see it all lights up like that to let you know that uh that it's the right combination and if you don't put the right one then it starts to grow and then it dies uh, I'll actually show you one. What up, Zach Attack? Uh, and then, yeah, you have to be, you have to stay on the grass for sure. What happens if you don't? Here, let's get into a pretty, let's get a pretty sunset going here. Uh, okay, there we go. Nice, pretty sunset. The view in this game can be really nice if you, you know, stop and smell the roses. Uh, it it can look really, really nice at times in this game. Multiple objectives. <clears throat> yeah, it has multiple objectives. More like it, the game is driven by planting 
flowers and or planting seeds and trees. Uh, there is some pop in here too. That's one thing. But this pop in is mostly in this beginning part. Um, surprisingly, it, it like doesn't happen as it's not like noticeable later. But as you can see, like all that pop in, that was something that that was another little ding. I'm very picky, and I'm very like like I really every time there is a something I notice that's a problem. I uh, I definitely take points off, subtract so points. That's why I said like I'm. It's it's kind of a harsh 7.5 because like it's these little things that just I add up and take off like like the pop in like the little bit of blur, like uh, the grabbing around the trees space being really high. Uh, it does get pretty challenging. No, it gets it gets pretty challenging. Um, so this is the thing. Um, so when you're on the non grassy areas you have this thing here is it gonna make noise uh you'll see you'll see the blue lines they start to drain that's like your energy or whatever that you have and as you as that energy runs out uh then it starts to it actually starts to kill you or whatever you don't really die you just run out of energy and respawn so we're gonna do a close call here we're gonna see if we can so we're gonna let this run out and then this is what it looks like when you start to run out of energy. It like fills up with the roots and stuff. It actually looks pretty cool. Oh shit. Uh, okay. But you you activate once you get the green the grass to reach these things. Uh, it activates these little things, whatever they are, and then it recharges your energy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there's, uh, it definitely does save all the trees, so the cool thing like that I said, and it's, it's open world, once you're, I think, as far as I remember, once you're past the first loading screen of the game, uh, that's it, like, this whole world, uh, is basically open, now it is locked by some, like I said, some Metroidvania elements, um, but it's pretty dope, man, uh, it's pretty cool to, to grow a bunch of stuff here, Go to maybe like up there on top of that canyon and then uh, and then look back and you see this giant forest that you planted um, there's some really definitely a lot of cool moments in this um, and it does have the dynamic soundtrack the soundtrack is good but it, I do wish it was a little bit more like like I don't know the soundtrack was I think I felt like it could have resonated with me a little bit more <laughs> yeah no it's not fuzz it's just blur unfortunately i don't usually mind a little bit of like aliasing fuzz and stuff it's yeah it's got a great art style um it does like i said once you get going it's one of those though like where it's like once you get going you don't really notice it's not like no man's sky blur on ps4 um it's not like that or anything but but still we just we've been We've seen what the headset is capable of doing, and so, you know, you just typically like it. Also, it helps people that get, like, motion sick and stuff. The clarity and stuff helps people just the better. But overall, I think the game does look good. Uh, let's see. Move and adjust. So now it's letting me... This is how you, you just hold one move button, and you can adjust the stilts. And that would take little, little tiny steps. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and expand here. Bam plant this here um i'll show you what it's like too i'll plant the wrong one so this is this is going to be one of the wrong seeds that doesn't match nihilus ryan thank you so much man my pleasure dude wanted to show you guys gameplay <laughs> you're aging before your eyes so you'll see this has the three symbols that match the hole, and this other one doesn't. So we're going to put this one in. And there's still a chance that it can grow, but it's, like, very unlikely. What up, Underground Game Cat? Elite Name Squad in the house. Let's get it. Yeah, so we'll see what happens here. Let's see if this actually grows here. Uh, wow, it might actually grow. Now that wasn't even the right combination, but the thing is, because I planted it in the in the grass that was already like strong and healthy, 
I'm guessing is why it actually grew anyways. Typically, especially later in the game, it can be really difficult to uh, to grow some stuff. Like, it, it, especially like fighting off the weather and the tornadoes and all that stuff, it gets like super tough. Wow, it actually grew here. That's cool. Okay. I was, I was trying to demonstrate when it dies. <laughs> and it actually worked. And that's one of the other cool things too is like the blend of the colors and stuff especially like one one green tree in the midst of all these yellows is not a good example but gave you a trophy for that wrongly planted tree yeah all right here we go weird how these trees so this is kind of the darker point uh this is the kind of the darker part here where you go underground and then like my my time mill is all messed up is my health draining down here or it's okay. It's only while it's while in the movement. Uh, oh, okay. All right. Now this is the the central hub. This is uh, this is like the main hub, and there's basically the objective is to basically restore this thing. What up, Justin Cassidy? Good to see you, man. How's this little gym looking? Um, basically have to restore this thing and that's, but there's a lot more to it that just, if you want to get the first ending, you restore that and, and, uh, climb to the top and activate it or whatever. But there's all these, each side has an Island. There's an Island over there, a, a giant Island over there, giant Island over there. Um, you can see the tornado in the distance and some other, other weather stuff going on there. Um, and uh, yeah, you have to unlock powers. So we're gonna go ahead and go get the first power, uh, and I'll show you there. And that's what we'll end up stopping. What up, Diego, my friend? Good to see you, man. Good to see all you guys. Thank you for uh, <laughs> feeling guilty for not weeding your garden. Uh, Trebuchet actually sent me a um, they sent me a really cool pamphlet uh, for the press kit for this and. And I planted it in my front yard, and I'm excited to see. Apparently, it's like some flowers or something. Uh, but I'm excited to see it, uh, what they grow into. I've been watering them every day and everything, and um, <clears throat> it's going to be the only good-looking part of my yard, that's for sure. Uh, hopefully. So yeah, there's all these stuff. So, like I said, this is the restoring the windmills and stuff is the main objective here. Uh, but if you want the true ending. There's other stuff you have to do, and I believe it involves restoring all of the native trees. Uh, so there is a smooth turning. Let me see. Let me see if I can use it and and get it set real quick. So there's three rotations options. There's incremental, which is snap turning. There's head direction, and then there's hand direction. Point in a direction, then press. So let's try the head direction one and see if that yes. looks better on stream or is better. Uh, yes. I've already told them about the smooth turning though, and they said that they said that they could easily implement it most likely. Hey, trebuchet. So this is the this is the smooth turning. You like look it's actually it's not that bad. It's not a traditional smooth turning, but you like look where you go. Hey, thanks for joining, Trebuchet. Um, congrats on you guys' release. So this is the smooth turning. It's not. It's not bad. It's definitely doable. It's just not the traditional kind of smooth turning we use, where it's just the buttons. You have to like look as well. So we'll we'll try to use this to keep it to smooth turning. So so that doesn't keep coming up. <laughs> um, all right. So here we go. We're gonna try to book it. <laughs> book it, book it, book it. This I love this part right here. I think it's super cool. Um, like how it's got this darker tone to it and stuff, and that that like thud of the music pops in. Um, that's pretty cool stuff. All right, so we're on the first island. All right. <laughs> all right. So we should have, I believe, hopefully. We should have the seed. Yes, this is the seed that we got. This is the yellow tree one. And uh, it also recommends, like, um, let's see here. Ugh. It also recommends building, like, two together. So we'll do that. All right, let's see here. Let's 
Let's watch him grow. Uh, and of course we want to activate that thing too so we can restore our energy here. That turning is on Megaton Rainfall where you <clears throat> look left and right and press the button. I suppose it's... Uh, at least for the stream it's better to use that right now, but... I typically, this is one of the few where I actually did the snap turning instead, just because it's, I don't like having to turn my neck every time I turn. Um, <clears throat> that's the problem with it. I don't, I don't like having to do the, like, put any strain on my neck just to be able to turn. Uh, what's up, Secrets of? Good to see you, my friend. Uh, alright, we're on our way to get our first ability in this game. This island is, uh, pretty big, too. <laughs> Johnny right pop. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, super pretty man. Uh, I checked out Megaton. It's okay. The combat turned me off. <laughs> yeah, I guess I don't age. I age really well. That's, you know, that's that's the thing. It's uh. This, uh, this character ages better than anyone else. <laughs> uh, let's recharge this. See, is there any good view tonight? Yeah. And I love how these... Uh, th this game has lots of cool special effects. Like, I don't know what the heck's going on here. I guess the the trees are, are feeding or breathing or something. I don't know what the heck's going on, but it looks cool as hell. Um, <laughs> they, they almost look like, like they're fe feasting off, like, spirits of the grass or something. All right. Yeah. Yeah, JB. I didn't mind the moves on. I liked the moves on Megaton, but the combat was oof. I don't know. I don't think I'm a human, to be honest with you. No, I can. I can confirm. I am not a human in this game. You're. You're not a person. You're some kind of fantasy, uh, fantastical, mythical, legendary being. Uh, that is meant to basically save everything. This looks like a Thanks for showing us, man. Yeah, no problem, Johnny. <laughs> Enjoy your work, man. Definitely a pretty game. Definitely a pretty game. I, I really like the special effects, too. What up? It's got just to go. I think it's 25 pounds. Um... I believe it is 25 pounds, 29.99 in the U.S. and then 45 in Australia, because their prices be super high over there. Uh, but yeah, we'll just let this go for a second, and you can see how tall this force. Y yeah, the lighting changes too. Like, like. Uh, no, you're not constantly running from the tornadoes. There's just the tornadoes kind of serve as like a uh, a barrier that you have to like figure out how to get through um little little tiny bit of a puzzle element there um but really it's just about timing and combining the right seeds and stuff and and you can get through it and then you also get abilities later that that make it easier as well um okay all right we're gonna keep this going but yeah you can actually another thing you can do is we're gonna, so you can, if you turn it all the way, it goes really fast. But you can actually, um, you can turn it like slightly and you can control the speed. See how it's like, it's like a little bit slower in evolving everything. So like you can slowly see the world like change day to day, which I think is really cool. Like I said, I, I really like the special effects in this game. You see like the world rotating. See the stars. Yep. <laughs> yep, that was exactly the question you asked. But then, typically the first time. <laughs> but this is another cool thing, too. Like, just all these little particle effects and stuff look really cool. It looks really good in 3D. I don't know what it looks like to you guys, but in 3D, like, it looks really cool. I just, I like, I appreciate little things like that. There's so many little things about this game that I really, really appreciate. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Alright. So now, this is one of the next sections where 
the soil is going to change. So we'll plant one more of these. This is where things start to get a little bit more complicated. Uh, let's see. Oh. Look at this, though. I love how this, like... Uh, yeah, you can, you can change... Um... You can change like where whatever you want. Like I can just take this and put it over here if I want it. Um, Is this worth the buy, GC? What up, VR Demon? Uh, if. Would you say the game in general is worth it? Oh man, well I I definitely think that there's enough content to justify it. Yeah. If, oh shoot. Yeah, there's definitely enough gameplay and stuff to justify the price. That is a yes, and especially if you're a platinum trophy hunter. Um. I would absolutely say yes. Uh, like I said, this game takes something that I usually wouldn't be interested in, but then makes it like interesting, makes it like some good gameplay mechanics and stuff. And there's a couple rough edges here and there, but overall, I was really impressed with how there's actually depth to the gameplay. There's variety. There's good variety to the gameplay and environments and stuff. So uh, once we get the first ability and stuff, you'll see a little bit more. Um, which makes it pretty cool. We're, we're getting close. We're on our way to get that. And, and it'll be a good stopping point because it'll show you like the basics of the game. So now, so now what I did there is I combined two different plants or two different seeds to, to match all the symbols that were needed to be able to grow. Ah. <laughs> ah. And, uh, now it creates a third one that has all the symbols for this area so there's a there's that's like one of the cool things about the the gameplay mechanics here the depth like i was saying just one of the examples is like they have this kind of like puzzle system where see how they're glowing if the symbol is not glowing it means that i don't have uh that it's not the right symbol see that asks for the green bushy tree and the, the yellow one doesn't match up there but you can combine them so i've already got one that i've made that i combined two trees and then i took a seed from that one and then boom and then i can speed up time and i can use this one to uh oops use that one to grow in, in this area because this the different areas have different soils and stuff and you have to like match it yep Yep, that's like, that's one of the things. That's like one of the ways the game poop. And then what it gets complicated is later on, like they only give you six pouches and that actually becomes kind of tricky because you have to like manage it like later on. And uh, there's like little tricks and there's like little tips and tricks you can do. Um, I typically will like, if I combine, if I combine some and grow a new one, then I just kind of keep harvesting from that new one and use that to replace an old one that's like far away or something. You, The idea is to kind of try and hold on to as many symbols as you can. Uh, that way, you, for any situation, um, you can really, uh, you can uh, like, you know, combine and grow in any situation. I hope something mutant, <laughs> mutant trees. Yeah, that's really cool. Definitely seems like there is some good depth. Yeah. I think I'll pick it up after Brian's review. Yeah. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, I I'm pretty sure Brian's review is going to be pretty positive, too. I, I, you know, I had a rough go with this game. It was kind of ups and downs. Uh, I know the dev team told me, too, that they had, they, they had some issues right before launch, like I said, with crashing and stuff. I haven't experienced any crashes yet, though. Um, but they, they essentially wanted to enhance the graphics a little bit and and ran into some issues some technical issues so well by the uh by the time we get to the first thing which we're coming up pretty soon by the time we get to that first section or whatever with the first ability um we'll we'll know what's up uh Paravan? uh yeah man definitely uh, cool to have another psvr exclusive uh, i'm i'm definitely a fan of exclusives of course i am i'm a playstation fan so you'd have to be um awesome and you know like this game it's so hard to describe like the amount of things it reminds you of a mix between like 
like I said, like a little bit of separation, but it's kind of like the opposite of separation where it's, um, it's got like deeper, more VR game mechanics to it. And it's not so much a puzzle game as it is built around being like this flora builder, uh, thing. Um, and it's got a little bit of that flower vibe to it. Native PSVR open world, not a port. Um, uh, separation was open world. Uh, but yeah, that is that is like like I said, there are a lot of little VR-y things that are just nice for the immersion. Keep it immersive. Um, nice, man. Oh, yeah, Fracked, man. Yeah, it's been a crazy summer so far. Sniper Elite, Fracked. Um, what up, ET? Good to see you, my friend. Look at that. Yeah, there's sometimes, like, if you... I did this on my second playthrough more, which is, like, I would just stop and kind of enjoy the view. Um, what up, NL? Yeah, man. Good to see you guys. Thank you for joining. If you really... If you're the kind of person that likes to stop and, like, like soak in the view a little bit like you'll definitely get a kick out of this with two different endings you can play it so many different ways too was wandering after Brian's warning to wait until today's review yeah the the warning was because of crashing um I don't think uh I don't I, I haven't experienced any yet I don't think we're going to um we'll find out here in a second but yeah like I said um You know, I think score-wise, like I said, I still I give it like somewhere around like a 7.5, but like I really, really enjoyed it. So I really like, like it's a very, very strong 7.5. I just, I just ding on little, little either technical things or just little tiny things. But I think uh, I definitely really enjoyed this game. I think, um, you know, depending on the kind of gamer you are too. I mean, it's it, it's nice to have some of the tips that I'm giving you. But also going in and just kind of figuring it out yourself um, might get a, might be a fun way to do it too. I mean, this just the art style is fantastic. Yeah, yeah. The patch came uh, late last night. It is definitely a chill out game. Okay, so what do we got here? So now this wants to get. So the this is how you get new seeds in this game. Is you come to one of these structures. And uh, it wants a sacrifice. <laughs> sacrifice to the seed gods. Um, um, yeah. Uh, okay, let's back up a little bit. Uh, yeah, look at that sky. It looks uh, crazy good out there. And that's like a whole other island that you can go to. I mean, once you have the ability to. Alright, let's see. This thing is growing. It's going to give us a new seed that we can go use to get to the next section. And then we can do the first that'll complete the first section of the game <laughs> sacrifice your seeds <laughs> it is uh it is pro enhanced yes nope no ps5 patch though uh okay Let's see here uh okay where is there we go Ugh. What reminds you of Saints and Sinners? <laughs> Alright, we stocked up on a bunch of these now. Ugh. Let's see, how many do we have? So now we're, we're filling up here. That This tells you how many you have. Um, what up, Mot22? It's definitely a, a chill game. Good vibes game. Feel good. Um... It's, uh, it's mostly relaxing. There are some intense parts. Like it, That's the thing. is It's like really chill, but it does have these... Especially like going down here and stuff. It gets pretty crazy. Like it gets uh, kind of really dark and spooky. I'm going to watch my energy here, but we're going to explore down here a little bit. Uh, I don't think there's anything down here. Because my energy is draining. But uh, i got to make sure I don't get lost either. Crap. I hope I didn't just get lost. <laughs> uh... Not good. Is that gonna... Uh oh. I totally got lost. 
that's not good. Well, I don't think we're making it out of here. <laughs> Alright, well now you get to see what the death animation looks like. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's super dark down here. Alright, and what happens is it just restarts you. Alright, well that was a bad idea. Uh, trophy, though. So, it does... This game does have good checkpoints, though, for the most part. Like, you never... You don't have to, uh... <laughs> there's no there's no combat like using the seed as bullets no. um yeah that is cool though i i still think it's really cool going down under there and uh like there's like some parts where you where you have to really do your best to like survive thank you scott all right yeah we are almost through there's there's one more section we want to go through here um that's going to be super important uh let's see let's grab one of these and then and then you'll get like basically once we get to that section you'll get the gist of the game uh, and how it works and then there's just like there's more sections to it there's more abilities that you unlock but we're gonna get the we're gonna get the first one and just go from there uh, let's uh yeah and like I said it's a it's a very like chill relaxing game but it is active like um, you swing your arms up and down so much, but it's very light movement. It's not like a strenuous kind of thing. Uh, I love the, the walking system in this, though. I'm definitely a big fan. Uh, let's see here. Let's keep going here. I want to actually get some seeds from this one so I don't run out. I want to make sure I have enough for later. That's the cool thing. I mean, you can plant one seed, and then you can use it to... Uh, uh, to like just that one seed as long as it grows you can use it to restock your entire bag of stuff your satchel or whatever it is uh, there's another one. we'll do some climbing here uh, yes there's, <laughs> there's no elephants on stilts um let's see here let's uh oh there we go i do like like i said i like how you can constantly like adjust your height and stuff some good, some good, like, smooth VR mechanics, man, for reals. Alright, so now this is the next section here. This is where we're going to get our next ability. Um, okay, so now we've got a new one. Now it's got the bush, the lines to the side, and then the squares. Uh, which we have, because this is the new seed that we just got from that new tree. It looks pretty cool, too. Alright, so we're going to actually run out here a little bit. And we're going to plant a couple so that uh, we can watch it all grow together want to keep them kind of close to each other though so that they they get each other with the grass make sure they get enough grass this should uh this should make for a cool little scene here uh, okay spread these out a little bit um all right I think that should be one more. One more. We'll do one more just to be safe. Like concrete genies VR section with the plant growing kind of like Huh. Yeah, the concrete genie thing was cool, but it was too short. Have you ever played with the leaves on weed? Alright, here we go. I planted a whole bunch of them at once. Let's watch them grow and connect and just completely transform the landscape here. Come on, grow, connect, yes. You can still move with one hand. Wow, look, look how this place is transforming. That was one of my favorite things about Falcon Age, was the way uh, Falcon Age would just kind of like transform as you completed different sections. Um, and this, I definitely find relatable. But yeah, pretty cool, huh? The way that just completely transformed. Uh, let's get some of these seeds. I want these. And we're probably going to need them too. Oh yeah, give me. Oh, give me that goodness. Rep for the picking. Yes. Uh, let's see here. PC game dev. Can we? What is that game and what is the game mechanics? What is up, PC game dev? Uh, it, this is Winds and Leaves by Trebuchet. It's a PlayStation VR exclusive that just came out today. And the mechanics are basically, it is a floor builder um, where... You go around basically restoring all these environments. There's a lot more mechanics that, than it seems on the surface. 
Um, it's got like a little bit of a puzzle element to it where certain soils only grow certain seeds. So you, they have these symbols and you can combine up to three to match those symbols for the best chance to grow. Oh, the backpack mechanic. Yeah. Yeah. It's like this little bag thing here. I like, yeah. I mean, and at any time you can uh, recalibrate, you guys saw in the beginning of those boxes, uh, you, you can recalibrate that at any time, which is really cool. Um, it makes it easy. It makes it like, like if you are one of those people, like there's so many different types of gamers and some get like absolutely hate, like when they have trouble grabbing stuff. Um, and if that is you, then like that system they put where you can adjust wherever you want it to be, um, to fit your style is perfect. That way you can have it wherever you want it. Yeah, I love the, uh, like I said, really impressive special effects here. Just looks cool, man. Glowing, pretty, lots of pretty stuff in this game. Yes, you are some, definitely some kind of bird alien uh, something. I've got like humanish fingers, but they're more like bird talons. I'm Birdman. This is what Birdman does in his spare time. It's cool kill cell, baby. Yeah. Definitely some cool effects. Alright, we're getting... You're about to see some more, too. PC game dev. Thanks, bro. No problem, PC game dev. Alright. Oh, wait. Hold on. This was different. We've crossed now. Okay, so now... The one that I used to get over here, spread all that, didn't work right here. So we put one down that has the bars, but we need the other two. So we combine the other two and get all three right there. Uh, we'll do one more here just to make sure that it can grow. Uh, one of these. Uh, one of these. Yeah. Definitely. All right. <laughs> All right. So hopefully this is a new one. Now we'll go get seeds from this one too, because we'll want to have seeds from this to make it easier to not have to combine two every single time we want to plant one and spread here. We just want to uh, grab one of these or stock up on these so we can just use these and just have to plant one at a time. But yeah, slow it down a bit. You got reeds growing in the water now too. <laughs> no. <clears throat> Alright. I'm pleasantly surprised um, by lots of things in this. Let's see here. <clears throat> and I'm happy to report that no, it is not trash. <laughs> Now, <clears throat> you grow these plants to make it so that you can walk around a whole bunch. Um, and, like, this is what's cool is when it... <laughs> yeah. Um, especially when it starts mixing the colors and stuff, it starts to look really pretty. But, yeah, I love how if you just keep it going, like, how tall these trees get, how huge they are. Um, it's really cool to come back to that. All right. A rabbit farmer. All right. So this is gonna be. Let's see. Are there different seasons? Secrets of. There's. There's not different seasons, but there's different uh, weather effects for sure. So kind of. Uh, 
Yeah, there's not really seasons, but there's like sections with different uh, weather. So I mean, yeah, in a way, but it's not like a, it's not like it changes to a season. It's like certain sections are. Um, let's see. Thank you, Secrets of. All right, let's play another one here. We're almost to like the first kind of checkpoint, I would say. What's up, Crazy Game Dev? You got PC Game Dev and Crazy Game Dev. Yes. <clears throat> this is... I'm, I'm demonstrating gameplay today. And being that this is my third time playing this game, I've actually beaten it. Uh, and I've and I started a second playthrough because I wanted the platinum. I want to get the platinum trophy in this. Um, that uh, yeah, I would definitely say. <laughs> uh, your brothers are you the same person with two different accounts? <laughs> uh, okay, <clears throat> let's go here. Do do do. All right. We're almost to this first section. So now we got something different here. Uh, there's a small little wind device here. Um, and you'll see you'll see there's a big windmill up in the distance up there, but it's all jacked up. We are brothers. Uh, let's see here. Uh, okay, so these are the little tricky ones. It says plant trees, make sure they... <laughs> oh, shoot. I picked the wrong one. I want this. Nice. Firewall is good, man. So many... I mean, that's the thing. PlayStation VR has, like, this crazy library of games, and there's still some of the best games we're getting right now, like, so late in the life cycle. It's pretty amazing, actually. Uh, okay, I'm going to plant as many of these as possible. Because basically we have to plant enough to get this thing to power up and activate. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll definitely be playing more swordsmen at some point. Um, and no, you don't really craft tools in this, but you do unlock them. So this is one of the cool things here. <laughs> Come on. So you see it charging up. It's almost there. We got it. Yes. This is the, the cool part of this game, how this game starts to transform like this. Um, you start to see a lot of this stuff everywhere, and it looks so cool, um, especially at night. Okay, I'll, turn, I'll change it to night so you can see it glow a little bit. Glacious. <laughs> Well, before your phone dies, uh, uh, Glacius, yeah, check this out, man. Looks so good. Just the... What a Vargold. Yeah. It's gonna be... There's gonna be some mixed feelings. That's why I said 7.5, you know, to play it safe. But I, me, personally, I really enjoyed it. I would recommend it. Yes, absolutely. I, I appreciate... Yeah, no, I hear you. I had the same concern, Joe. Thank you uh, for checking it out, man. Uh, I definitely had some concerns about, like, the depth, the gameplay, stuff like that. But no, like, they know what they're doing, uh, which was very nice to discover. Um, if it was literally just wandering around and just planting seeds and, and like, you know, there wasn't, like, variety or depth to it, like, yeah, it'd be terrible. Uh, but luckily, they were, they knew that. <laughs> And they designed for that. I think this night an MW uh, is going to be their come on. Okay, I need to get seeds from this. Yes, the orbs. Uh, uh, I really like the way the controls feel in this game. Like I said, I really like the walking mechanic. So you can see my arms, like, and there's a lot of stuff like I can instantly I adjust. What up, Spartan? Good to see you. Uh, yeah, I think uh, that's one of the things I really liked about it was that um, it has this, like I said, lots of the grabbing, like grabbing out your tools and stuff and using them 
And like, it's lots of like grabbing and interacting and all sorts of stuff that makes it pretty sweet. Um, oh crap, where's my... Uh oh. Okay, there it is. I need to get, uh, I need to get some seeds from this one. <laughs> uh, okay, and then we're gonna recharge our juice stuff too. Our, spe our, our leaf juice. Oh no! Uh oh guys. Well, there was a crash. <sighs> That's not good. That's not good. I don't know how long I've been streaming. Mm. Crazy game developer. Uh oh. Oh no. Hmm. Yeah, there was uh, there was some pretty bad some crashing issues. This is not good. Damn soon. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens here. But yeah, that was supposed to be fixed by now. Yep. Uh, it's a pretty big game. Yeah. We keep getting cyberpunk. Oh it automatically saves, right? It does automatically save, yeah. We'll see where it starts me out from. It should start from... It should actually start me from right there, from right where I was. Um, that's not good, though. Uh, let's see here. Continue... Well, I don't know what the time was on that or how long that took to happen, how long I've been streaming. But we'll count them, see if there's more. See how bad it gets. Alright, so... Where? Okay, so luckily it did save me right where I was. Literally right where I was. Uh, I'm playing on PS5 right now. An hour? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, uh. Okay. Let's get up all on this tree. Uh, did it drop? It did drop. Let's seventy-one minutes. Yeah, it's been fun though, man. Overall, it's been really fun. Like I've, I've been enjoying. Thank you guys. Uh, like I said, for hanging out. We're almost done with the stream, actually. Um, I wanted to get through the first section of this game just to show you guys the basic game loop and how it works. Uh, does the PS5 crash often? Uh, not really, I don't think. No, it's more about different games. Some games are good about it, some games are bad. All right, let's go ahead. We're almost to this next section here. Do we have... Okay, so we grew one of these seeds. So now we can use this. Alright. <laughs> PSVR special attack? No, PS5 is super quiet. Absolutely, definitely super quiet. Um, the PS4 Pro, it was, it was like kind of, PS4 was, Pro was better, but it depended on the game really. Uh, what, what was louder or not. Um, Dreams, I think of all games, was probably the loudest game that, that I had. Alright, let's do this. Almost to this like first section, first final, uh, first section in, that we've completed. So you can see like that tower. This is a mechanic that will come into handy later. You'll see like these windmill little fans or whatever. Some fat underground game cat. Thank you, man. <clears throat> uh, you've only had. Uh, I've had like a million crashes on PS5, but. Really, like I said, depends on the game. Uh, every every No Man's Sky update, <laughs> there's been some awful crashes. All right, 
so we'll see here. We're trying to restore. You'll you see how like that windmill has some greenery on it. We want to fill that up. Oh, that's awesome that Swordsman is your favorite game, man. Um, <clears throat> Swordsman is uh, is a lot of fun. I'm definitely a big fan. Big, big fan. Uh, it's, it's, I actually just played it last Saturday. I beat it for the first time. I play, I've put several hours into it, but I actually beat it, which I had never done. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's just great, brutal combat gladiator like combat uh oops all right here we go yeah some really good looking views oh nice <laughs> excellent man i'm glad uh glad you like it i don't know uh, i gotta talk to alec and see what his uh what his next update is The Mongols and the fire boss, yeah. Ghost Giant, nice. Uh, my favorite game, I mean, I got a couple, really. It's hard to say. I have so many. I, I love I love uh, No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky on the PS5, but on PS4, uh, PS4 Pro, probably Saints and Sinners, Farpoint. Um, there's, there's honestly, like, PSVR has such a huge library. Uh, Astrobot, Resident Evil 7, Hitman 3. Uh, I like all of these games. These are amazing games. I've played Skyrim VR. I love Skyrim VR. Uh, is the best version of Skyrim, in my opinion. Uh, I've played the non-VR version, and I think the uh, the VR in VR is just like the way to go. Um, unless you're like into modding and stuff, and like to mod stuff. Then sure, that that could be a front runner too. But yeah, Skyrim VR is amazing. Uh, is it gonna is it gonna reach? Let's see. Let's see if we can get it to slowly activate. Come on. Here it goes. Yeah. Woo. Wanted to see all the special effects happen. So we've got all these things connected. Now that uh, that just filled up with with greenery, as you can see, bam. So now we can go here and get our first ability. We'll use the first ability just a little bit, and then we'll stop there. Nick, uh, I definitely compare this game to Separation, except more like uh, definitely more VR mechanics to this more vr -y. like separation really could have used some interactive and, and move controller elements to it uh, and it was very just kind of just you know turned into a lot of walking this game is a lot more involved um, but yeah Nick knowing that you're uh, a platinum dude uh, definitely a good one to keep an eye on for a platinum uh, Wait, let's get to, let's uh, recharge our energy here real quick. I have played Rec Room. I played Rec Room last night, in fact. Rec Room is amazing. Nice. The only thing I can say, guys, is we got to keep an eye out for the crashes. Obviously, that crash occurred, and uh, and it started me right there. It does have really good checkpoints. I've even though I've experienced some crashes pre-patch, the one last night, a uh, good bit. It was a little excessive, uh, but they said they have definitely reduced it. So that's that's one of the that's one of my only concerns. If it had zero crashes, I'd be like, yeah, go out and buy this immediately. Um, this is PSVR only. This it's PSVR exclusive. Um, uh, but yeah, so beautiful, man. Okay, let's do this. I just no matter how good a game is, if it ever crashes a whole bunch. I, there's just no way I can recommend that. Like, um, but we'll see what happens. All right, so we're about to get our first ability here, which I'm excited about. All right. Uh, I I do have uh, I do have Ratchet and Clank. I actually have been playing it and 
It's uh, pretty amazing graphically. It's a stunning looking game. Uh, okay, so here we go. Oh, I'm excited, okay. Let's get this, let's get back here. Okay, hold on. We're about to run out of energy, so let's speed up time. Watch these plants grow. Grow, baby, grow! Excellent. I'm gonna grab a couple seeds from this, then we'll go get our first ability and use it. And then we'll call it there. But yeah, overall, like I said, even with the, uh, you know, even with the crashing, I still enjoyed this game, uh, mostly, but something hopefully they, they get fully worked out. It's definitely not as bad as it was. The load times, oh, oh, yeah, the for Ratchet and Clank. Yep, this is made by Trebuchet. They made a prison boss, um, which I never actually played. But this is more. This is definitely more my kind of game here. Um, but I heard prison. I still heard prison boss was pretty good. Like, and I, I think I remember hearing some similar things about it. People were surprised that it had some deep mechanics to it. <laughs> nice. All right, let's get our first ability here. And this is just the first of a couple. Um, this is the first island. There's, there's a, it's a pretty big game, like I said, so I'm not really worried about getting up to this point. Um, and I think, uh, uh, so this is a big part of the game is coming to these and, and you gotta restore the fans. Look, and so this is what makes this really cool. You can see all the trees and stuff we planted out in the distance. And as you go throughout the game, you'll see more and more like trees popping up, more greenery, uh, more forests and stuff, uh, different colors too, whatever colors you plant or change. Um, so that's, that's part of the cool thing about the open world aspect of this game and what it does. Uh, it's pretty sweet. All right. Now let's complete the first objective here. We're going to take take our time mill yeah definitely cool oh yeah yeah definitely here we go we have activated this no I'm I'm definitely a big fan trigger shit definitely <laughs> All right, so now we've got this first windmill activated. Go, go, blow, blow, blow. <laughs> there it goes. And it's gonna go, it's gonna, what it's doing is it's gonna blow all the way back to the, um, to the main hub, the central hub that we saw in the beginning, where that big windmill was. Yeah. Yeah, soundtrack is really good overall. It's good overall. Um, no, no, it's just the fan blowing its spiritual energy back. Okay, so now... <laughs> Alright, so now... This says keep... Okay. You can now glide to things. It says keep move button plus T press to aim. Release T to glide. Okay. All right. So it does actually say it. So now we can fly uh, to some degree. But look at this. It's like as you traversing back using our brand new ability. This is where now we're not on stilts. Well, we still are on stilts, I guess. But but when you're up here, you don't really use the stilts. But this is beautiful. This is so colorful. Um, all right. Easiest way to do this is definitely you, you press both down to aim, but then you let go of the trigger. Yep. Yep. You can you can fly from here to here. Yeah, and let's see. And there's like uh, like I said, there's a couple more abilities that you get throughout the game. And these, this is what I really liked was the Metroidvania aspect, uh, where now it unlocks being able to do uh, certain things. 
My channel is, uh, what, three years old? 2018, March of 2018, I think. Uh, something like that. Okay, let's combine this. With, oh, that was, uh, that was actually all. Oh, we could just use that. Uh, just the, as, as you unlock more of these, uh, things. <laughs> nice, glaciers. Yeah, man, this, like, it is pretty nice, man. It really is. Like I said, I, you guys know how, how harsh I can be on games. <laughs> and, uh, you know, um, actually it was funny because the people at Trebuchet said, you know, we're really confident that you're going to like this. And I was like, well, we'll see. <laughs> I was like, I was like, do you know my reputation? <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, yeah, no, it actually turned out really nice. So I, I like, uh, <laughs> I, I like it. I like it when developers are confident, man. I, I like that because when they're like, "Oh yeah, you're gonna like this," and they and they show me their game, uh, a good amount of times. You know, the only other dev that I can think of recently that was like that was Fract. Uh, Fract was like, "Oh, oh yeah, you, you're we're like super confident in our game, and and like you know we want you to to check it out and stuff." And um, and yeah, we all know how that turned out. That turned out great. <laughs> with that demo um all right no i don't watch my streams back i mean unless there was like a certain reason to but no no i'm usually just working on other sorts of content in the meantime when i get done it's work 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 see look how different this is to what we saw before guys <laughs> look at this guys this is what makes this game so cool. Ah, oh, thank you, PC. It was very kind. Ah, oh, thank you guys. You guys are sweet, man. Yeah, I do have a girlfriend right now. She's super awesome too, and she likes, she loves VR, which makes her even cooler. <laughs> oh, but she's, she's a sweetheart. Thank you guys. You guys are too nice, man. Look at this. Now we're back through this section again. Look at this. Developer confidence. Oh yeah. No. I I absolutely if you can patch in a button push turning mechanic that has a slider for turning speed and it'll be worth the extra interest. Oh man. Look at this though. Super cool, man. Let's go back and we'll see. Uh, we'll see the hub. So this is where we started from, kind of like this was the first thing we crossed. Good for you, <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> you, you guys are too kind, man. Uh, all right. Yeah. See, I love how this gets all like dark and spooky here, and it's like hard to see. It's crazy. Um, uh, look at this. So we've got the first one done. <laughs> look at this so what's cool about this and then it's got the next section lit up but we're not going to go there that's where the tornado is you guys will have to experience the tornado and deal with that mess yourself <laughs> that's where things get things start to get a little bit more complex but it's essentially the same thing you go to each island and every single island around the world uh comes back and and like blows the the wind here but if you want the true ending there's more stuff you have to do than that if you want the true ending, uh, <laughs> Mark. <laughs> if you want the true ending, there's more mechanics you have to do. Um, oh, you'll just have to find out what the uh, what the tornado does. But look, there's definitely some beautiful stuff here. Yeah, yeah, I, I like the controls. What up, Richard? Good to see you, my friend. Yeah, I, I love the, the locomotion and stuff. I just think there just needs to be a traditional turning where you just press the button and it just turns. Just good for people with neck issues. I know a lot of our people in our community, you know, have injuries or something that they can't turn their neck. So, so to have smooth turning um, with just a traditional thing would be really good for them. I just always have them in mind as well. Um, but guys, look at this beautifulness. But thank you so much, man. Congratulations, uh, Trebuchet, on your release of your game. Um, yes, Platinum Trophy, alternate ending uh, that you will probably get in one run. Like I said, Platinum Hunters, 
uh, definitely one to keep an eye on too. Thank you guys so much, man. I've got uh, got other stuff to check out, but yeah. Again, thank you guys so much for checking this out, man. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful, and I'll see you on the next one, guys. You guys take care. Thank you so much. Love y'all. See you guys. Laters. <laughs> I will. I will play Swordsman again soon. Later, y'all.